Welcome to episode 2033, G.V. Prasad, Generic Drug Billionaire. It is an outline of episode 2033. Um, moments of joy are where I was happiest. Uh, periods when uh, the, the company is achieving progress, doing good, uh, uh, creating impact for patients, for the healthcare systems of the world, uh, bringing in products which really make a difference out there. These are moments which stand out. And uh, there are the launching of a product which makes it very affordable to many people. He was born in Narara, Andhra Pradesh, India, in 1960. His father is a very successful businessman, particularly in construction. He started college in chemical engineering in India, but transferred to the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago, where he got a degree in chemical engineering. And later, he earned an MBA from Purdue University in 1982. Then he returned to India I started with this company in the year 1990 uh, as a CEO of one of the group companies and then later on became the CEO of the combined entity. Is Dr. Callum Angie Reddy, his father-in-law. Finally, this led into the kind of affordable medicine that people of India could uh, afford. If it is priced at $1.20 in US, Everybody in the U.S. can buy, but you convert into 60 rupees, bring it to India, only 10% can buy. So I was determined that what is sold at $1.20 should be sold at 1 rupee 20 paise a year. And I did that. The stock of Dr. Reddy's laboratories has been listed both in India and in the New York Stock Exchange. This is the stock performance. It started around six US dollars in 2001. In October, October 2024, he has a net worth of $1.6 billion. He's 63 years old. As you can see from this graph, he has been a billionaire since 2015. The secret of his success. From India, I did two years of my engineering in India, and then I transferred to Illinois Institute of Technology, Chicago. Going to IIT Chicago was an eye-opener for me. I could experiment with several courses. In fact, in the very first uh, semester, I took a course in psychology. And then later on, I explored many humanities. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Paul Chan in Sydney, Australia. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.